Welcome, everyone, to the general gaming channel known as M12 Warthog. Hey guys, gaming. what's going on, Hogs? M12 Warthog. And here I am back with another video. And today I'm continuing this, like, game of a uh, band. Some things have happened. Not much. I think I asked. May have left it running just so that I could produce a few more things off camera, but um, off recording and all that stuff. But our health goes up, it's now at 3 hearts, so that's good. The, um, having the herbalist are taking an effect. I just couldn't find a decent spot, that's probably the, a very crappy spot to start out with. But hopefully, it will get better over time. And I want to go into more in depth detail as to what this town hall does. I didn't do it in the beginning because, well, we weren't producing much of anything at the moment, but now that we got, um, now we got tailors, blacksmiths, people, foresters that are constantly making logs year-round, I wanted to talk to you about what this, what this does and what it, it mainly does. Here's just an overview, 100% educated, 100% clothed. Now, that doesn't always happen right off the bat, because, okay. well, one, one, because if you, they, some children may go. They become an adult laborer and be uneducated before they um get um before they get 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 a school up and running. Unless that's one of the first things you do. It tells you what season, what year you're on, how many you have of each builder, but you can also see that right here and manage that from here outside of this. This tells you production, what's been produced. And this is how much is being produced this year and how much is being used this year. As you can see, the thing I really need to work on is logs, which I've told this forester to fix that problem by having him plant and cut as much as I want that to be a thick forest. And I want this to be a thick forest, so I'm only going to have that one to plant. And I'm going to up the foresters on each one. That way we're still getting more logs and hopefully... <clears throat> because logs are being used for many projects. But not just projects, but they're also being used <clears throat> in mainly wood cutting. We have like 3,000 logs, but that doesn't worry me because we can have that as surplus and we can trade for crap that we do need once we get a trading post. Now I'm going to put a small stockpile here. Actually, yeah, 7x7. Seven seven. That way, people don't have that tra far to travel when they want to drop off supplies. But I also put it here, instead of usually putting one next to Worcester's Lodge here or something like that, because that takes up room from spaces where trees could be. And plus, we already got a house here so that people don't have to live that far away from home. And that's like lowering the efficiency down to like 50% or something drastic like that by doing that. But what I can tell you is that this seems to be going well at first. Um, so I'm probably gonna have to raise happiness, but I don't really have the workforce to do that. But I'm gonna focus on that. But I can see main lots of stuff. Okay, well we're producing a lot of food and we're about to hit our limit. But we have a surplus. But I guess I'm gonna increase that by a thousand. Getting close there. And I'm going to lower one fish. No, I want to add four, but I want to lower one fish. What I am going to do now is I want happiness to be raised. I'm going to build chapel. That way people can practice religious stuff. And that increases happiness. That's if you have, That's if you choose to believe in that stuff. Completely up to you if you want to or not. your own choice. But... And now another reason why I'm lowering it is because we're right now... We have 100 venison, like about 100 potatoes, and about 100 uh, cabbage. We get we have 9,645 fish. Our fishers are doing very well. Also, another reason why. Fuel limit. I just want to increase this. chapel is built, I'll set someone to be a cleric, and that should raise that half a star of happiness. Normally, I don't want to waste my resources off at the beginning building a graveyard, 
But, um, right after someone dies is about the time that you should be ready to build one. I have a small one here. Now, there, now graves, yes, they, they stay there, someone's buried there, and they take up room. But I'm gonna show you a workaround that one when we actually get to the point where we don't want to have, like, 20 different, um, graveyards to carry people where you can only have it in about, keep it efficient, down to two graveyards. One that's rather large and one that's decently sized, and I'll show you how that works and all that stuff. So, let's see how this goes. So far, at the moment, I got two in the gatherer's hut. I had two more people. Right now, the most serious thing I need, I need at the moment. What do I need? Well, I got four more. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna increase this by two more. For Forester. I have one cleric, which means I'm going to have one extra guy. What do I want him to do? Now I'm just gonna have these two be builders at the moment. Hurry up and build this. enough stone for it. Now I'm gonna go here. We have nine houses for 18 families. That means we're not expanding the city at all. Okay, I'm gonna start one by one with that as I get enough stone. To build more houses out of stone. Or upgrade the current ones, but I don't want to use too much. Um, I don't want to, like... Like, automatically upgrade so many to the point where they can't do anything. Like, they can't get... Like, there's, um, not enough homes for everyone. Especially because the only time you really are able to do this is during the early spring. But you have to... No, I'm not gonna... I'm, I decided that I'm not gonna do that and I'm gonna reclaim it. People are gonna move slowly move back in. At first, I... Th we need more builders to get this done a whole lot faster. And divide it evenly between these two. So right now, my health is still going up. It's at uh, three and a half, which is much better. Hit this get up and see how things are going. Increase the amount of builders. Builders are very elastic in terms of the demand for the job. Some days you'll need them, some days you won't. It all depends. It's still good to have, like, set aside, like, 10, 10 to 20 people, depending upon the size of your, um, town, and, like, okay, just build only this. I estimate in a few years we'll have stuff ready. The, um, we'll have a trading post ready, maybe. That will get interesting. I don't know why these people haven't moved back into the house yet. I might lower my overall happiness if I do that. I need to get this done. People aren't moving into the houses. One person did when I built that. That means I need to build a lot more. The here and a few there. Okay. Now it may take a while to build those, but that's okay. I want them to fully build these over time. And people should be able to get resources for it for time as well. I'm just coming in. I want to get at least one building done. Okay, we got two means everyone has a house now. Yeah, finding a leather is kind of hard, but um, it is something you can get from um, hunters, but it takes a while. Okay, production. No, I want not production. Blackstone. Bet that's what's low. Logs. so much about logs being low, 
so much as I would rather in this situation, firewood being low. Pillar cutting and planting is good. This area seems to be doing well once these trees grow and get a little bit bigger. I'm probably going to take this down. Move all these foresters there. Get two more workers. And we'll see where that goes from there. But for now, I can safely say that they can easily remove all of those trees. They need to. stone houses built. Now let me see this. They got 17 homes for 13 families. Which should mean that someone should be fine if I start to reclaim the wooden house. Not reclaim, but I'm um, start to um, upgrade a wooden house to a stone house. This should be doing well. That's a crate of fish. I won't actually let you look at it. Tell me what's in it. Good, I guess. Ooh, four and a half. We're almost at max. And if we're at maximum health, almost at max, just like this, we just need a few more um different types of food, and we should be there. We're getting pretty much a surplus of tools making them. Favors. I only need two, so I'm just gonna take them. Okay, this forest is coming along nicely. How did a forester's lodge produce potatoes? It's not even a farmer. Maybe I just found them lying around? I don't know.
anyway. I have to get rid of, um, Forster's Lodge soon. have three out of four there. One here. That's going to be reclaimed. Not reclaimed on. I'm thinking of, thinking of when you take down something from um from the game sprint commander. But what I will do... Pretty much want it right here. And that'll be much more effective now that it's not constantly in an area where there's new trees growing if it's in the world. So I've been told. Make the food read limit super high and just leave it there for now. Second, it becomes spring, I'm going to upgrade some more wooden houses. Because we have more houses than families at the moment. Late winter. Spaces, a lot of it's taken up by these houses, that kind of stuff. This road's just barely in the way, but that's perfectly understandable if it clips like that. But it's gonna be way more effective than anything else. But I really can't build anything else out this way. But what I can do sometimes it's not about the amount of houses you have and whether or not you can house people. But sometimes if people can live close enough to their work, so that they are more efficient, so every time they need to come home for something, they don't have to travel that far, and it also makes them more efficient, and there's also a limit to how far they can do it, so I'm probably going to build this here, mainly for the herbalists who are going to live there, or... I don't know if they automatically regrange themselves, but something happens. As a matter of fact, if I were to path this, yeah, they, they're all the way down there. I'm gonna disable work here. The two of them are going to be working there. We're gonna remove this structure. And more laborers, so yeah. It seems to be doing good all the way so far, I guess. I don't know. What do I need? One more gatherer and one more hunter. We're at three. Now, 
I'm gonna do a trading post, but I'm probably only gonna have like one trader there at, to begin with. And whether or not work will take place there is highly changeable. But I want it close to like... Oh, wait, what? Why am I... Oh, I'm putting it in wrong. Wait, I'm gonna build one right here. That way the area, the small area of water that it takes up won't affect the area in which these fishermen can fish. Okay, one more and now. Then both will come in and then we'll have to trade, but I'm not gonna put anything there quite yet. Um, I'm actually gonna make stockpile here here for them to make use of okay now we got a cool now I'm thinking we might want a physician as well in case a disease outbreak happens but our health is back up to a high level so that may not happen Gather died during childbirth. Um, a laborer has replaced them. Of course, as normal. Now, I have a lot of fish in a surplus. I have, like, more than a surplus. What do you mean when you have a surplus of a surplus of, um, something? I don't know. Because, look at this. I have over 10,000 fish. The primary source of food is fish and our source of um health just went down by half heart what the heck herbalist where are you what are they getting wow 159 compared to the 69 of last year they're getting more herbs just as i predicted So I'm thinking people will eat less fish and there's too much of a good thing can be bad for you. Want to know what? And then I'm gonna do... Three thousand of that. Got a hundred tools that we could spare. Put a hundred there. Firewood, though. Firewood. Okay, sweet. We now have a trader. Actually, now don't want a trader. You know, they will work. Make them labor. I want to. Have people get the items first. That way we have something to trade in instead of them just like coming up here and we want have something that they want but they don't want to wait around for people to grab stuff. But you want to know what? I might as well enable work at this place. Maybe they are the ones that get it. I don't know if it's the laborers or who, who brings it, but someone has to. Then again, they, they don't dirt. I won't instantly get someone that, that can take care of that for me. Hospital, yay! Now have a physician. Pretty soon we now have a physician. Okay, let me check. More houses than families. Early summer. 
Thanks for the storage remaining. We're working on this one fast. Some people still don't have a place to fit in. I don't know why that is. There's more houses than families. This is almost done, but I'd rather have um, a house for these people by the end of um, or the beginning of winter. Now, one of the main things... I know people will um, constantly ask how I get a lot of supplies for this, when normally my friends do. Or something. <clears throat> and to me, I will tell them that it's always usually about how efficient you can be with it. Most of my houses, some of them are wood, most of them are stone. Stone houses require less fuel to keep them warm, so effectively we have used less firewood. Now, of course, the amount of firewood that I have here has gone down considerably because that's not firewood that's allowed for the general public to use. That is stored in here for trading. Normally, this iron tool, I think, is about eight or six points. This is like one, but we have like 3,000 of that, and then firewood's like four for a piece of firewood. Sometimes I'll be off by two, and I'm like, I'll just give them like one or two potatoes, and I'm like, here. This is pretty much n enough food to last you a snack. Just snack on this until you're, um, until you get to your next town or something. That's pretty much what it is. But we now have a physician, so... If we have an outbreak, that's fine. Most of the people live right around here. When you need more pos positions, you set up more hospitals. But here's the thing, don't set them right next to each other. Because if people have to walk all the way from one side of the map, say like, infected person's here, you don't want them walking all the way to the other side of the map just to get healed. And by that time, they spread their germs to 50 other people who have to walk all the way down there. Okay. That seems kind of... That, that seems, um... Ooh! Oh my god! Our first trader! What do they have? Yeah, that's what we have. They have cattle. Ooh! Now, this is faded away. Fish, because, well, they don't want to trade that. Also, that means that town that they're from has a lot of fish themselves. Now, I'll take about maybe... Four cattle out of the six and see how much of that I can actually use. That's gonna cost me like all of my tools. But I told it to keep one hundred, so it's gonna give me a hundred it's gonna replace that hundred. Let's see what happens if I do that. I'm overpaying by a lot, but I know I have enough to get it. That's exactly it. Boom, trade, dismiss. Now they're temp kept temporarily in this place, so we can find a place for them. For me, I'd rather not have them sit around for too long. The reason for that is that eventually, if you don't have, if you keep them in the pasture, that's fine. But if no one's working the pasture, they're not taking care of the animals, not trying to make them make more um, animals. So eventually, that runs out. And I've had that happen to me once, so I'm, I'm just doing this right now, just so that I don't have that problem. Once you get at least a decent-sized pasture like this, and chickens are a lot smaller, so you can fit more in there, then you should be fine. And once I get sheep, after that I should be fine as well, and then we're... And then we can make all different sorts of things. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna have to end this video here. Hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you did, leaving any comments, questions, or feedback for me in the comment section down below would be highly appreciated. Without further ado, I will see you guys later in another video. Bye-bye!